Okay, so I know that her hair is clean and I know that her hair is shiny and beautiful and she doesn't need dry shampoo. But I'm gonna be adding in this blow dry pillow proof from Redken. It smells amazing, it's a two day extender. If her hair was like on her third day and it was dirty, I would use this, but I like to add this in for texture. So you're gonna be curling her hair and I'm gonna just show you guys quickly. I like to add it in just seriously like this. Just like that to give it some texture before we curl. So now let me show you my curls. I've had so many people request this. So guys, get excited about my curling technique. It's not, it's not anything too special. It's just the way that works for me and the way that I like it. I use the Baby Bliss Pro. It is a one inch rod. And most people have about a one and a half inch, a two inch. I like the smaller rods because it um, creates a really pretty curl, but I like to use big sections. So I have a dial control on my heat. I have it all the way to 200. So what I like to do is I will take it and I will take it horizontal. I will go against, right here against her roots and I will wrap this around however many times I feel that I want to. Then I will take my curling rod and I will flip it up like this and I'm gonna keep at about two inches of the ends of the hair. I don't wanna, I don't wanna curl the ends of the hair. It gives it more of a beachy wave. Then I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna let it set for a second. And it's gonna turn into this crazy, really spiral curl. And it's gonna be too pretty. But when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go and tossle everything up. So now we'll take it to the back. I like to wrap this around. So as I show you guys this slowly, I'll take it horizontal, put it underneath here, wrap it around. and then take it and make sure you're placing it where the hair will naturally fall. And hold it on for like three seconds. One, two, three, let it go. Don't drag it down, don't touch it. Let it stay like that. Same thing. I like to start horizontal at the root so it gives it volume. And then I'll keep it like that for about one, two seconds, and then I will take it and I will leave it down vertically. Keep out the ends. Don't touch it. Once we hit the front, I like to curl away from the face. So on the left side, I'm gonna take it, still do underneath, give it a good horizontal volume right there, wrap it around, take it, and hold it down. let it set and then let it go just let them stay super curly okay that's the biggest trick right now away from the face because that's what you do. It's cuter that way. So I'm gonna take my rod, I'm gonna place it right here, and I'm gonna wrap it around opposite of where her face, where it naturally falls. So, let that set for a second. And do not touch it. You're now to the other side of her face. I'm gonna take it right here. Wrap it around. I'm gonna pull at it pretty good and then place it vertically. I like to take my finger and I like to kind of pull out on this to kind of thicken up the curl. take it and I'm gonna loop it once because I want some volume right here 
If I'm placed it, I'm gonna keep holding it there for just a split second. I'm gonna take it out, take it this direction. Leave out the ends. Now I can start going against, and now I can start going forward with the curl. So now that we're going more forward, we're gonna take this section and we're gonna start curling away from the face. Okay, now with the bang, I'm gonna separate these two pieces right here. Curl away from the face. Same process, it's easy. Okay, so right now the hair is pretty much all cooled off. The heat is gone and I have not touched it. So, I'm gonna go in here with these curls being perfect like this and spray in here some more red pin pillow glue. I'm gonna use this Purve hairspray. I got this at the Fashion Week. The owner came up to me and said, you have to start using this hairspray. So I've been using it and I love it. The finishing spray, it's very light holds and it doesn't feel like it's sticky in the hair. So I'm gonna go in here and just spray this all over before I tossle the hair. Cool. Now what I'm gonna do is take my little cute little fingers and I'm gonna go through here and just Pull these curls pretty much out. It's too, I don't love a curl where they look too like, hi, I tried really hard. So I'm gonna go through here and just really kind of play with the hair. Go through here, put my fingers through the entire hair. Just toss all these curls up. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking loving it. <gasps> it is so pretty on you. Okay, I want a little bit more volume up here. I'm gonna tease it a little. Let's give it a little tease. So I'm gonna pick this up. Do one, two, three. Put that in my mouth. I know it was gross. Put some hairspray on. And I like to do this little trick. Whoa. <laughs> I just spread all over my hand. <laughs> oh gosh. A um, high volume. The bigger, the better. Ah! <laughs> okay, you look so good. Have a good day. I'm so glad I did your hair. Just kidding, I would never. So I'm gonna just take my fingers and grow through her hair. Kind of just get that out, but still have the volume in here. I'm gonna brush 
to the end. I love it. I'm in love with her hair. This is what it is. I'm hoping that I taught you guys one thing or another. I hope I always teach you guys something. And if I do teach you something, let me know. By giving you this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.